Good evening and welcome to what feels like a special event for us in the music department tonight. Welcoming back uh, two of our own, uh, tenor Joshua Ellicott, former student here, uh, and a man whose career we would now like to think epitomises the breadth of a University of York education. Uh, singing oratorio solos, opera, uh, once upon a time professional choral work, uh, even slumming it with E. Fagellini one to a part back in the day. And on top of that, a professional photographer as well. Uh, pianist Dr. Nikki Lossoff was um, a senior lecturer in the department a few years ago. I remember her lecturing on Bartok, also medieval music, understanding the depths of that. Uh, but my most cherished memories of her are of watching her in assessed recitals playing uh, classical repertoire or early romantic repertoire on the piano that you'll hear tonight. Um, ranges of colour she produces, the rubato, the, the flashes of virtuosity, the sense that it's very live and that anything could happen. She's playing the forte piano and she talks about this in her programme notes, which I do encourage you to read. It's worth underlining the dedication you need to prepare song recitals. The amount of paid work for recyclists is generally quite small, yet the preparation you need to put in, um, the whole recital in a foreign language, the exposure you lay yourselves open to with just two of you on the stage for an hour, uh, it's certainly a work of love putting such a thing together. Although the concert is happening in a large space, the microphones and the cameras are close, and uh, that gives a certain intimacy which reminds me of that image of a Schubert concert from some 40 years after his death. The entire audience crammed together, hanging on the singer's every breath or every keyboard flourish so that the slightest gesture registered it doesn't need to be forced out. So in that spirit, listen to what both musicians do with soft colours, josh with words uh, and also with ornamentation. Can you tell whether it's written out or done extempore? If you can't, then it's probably been done quite well. 2020 was meant to be a big Beethoven year, thus this programme. You'll hear the great song cycle And die Ferne Geliebte, To the Far Off Beloved, uh, the very title summoning up the poetry of the period on the cusp of classical interromanticism for those who like labels. And something unreachable, but not entirely without hope, as Josh mentions in one of his uh, introductions, because without hope you wouldn't sing. Uh, musicians have been hoping a lot since March. Uh, earning a living in this country for music has always been a precarious existence right back into the 16th century and before. Uh, and many will and have turned away from it as a result because of the financial difficulties they've experienced. But at the same time, it has made us think about why we do what we do. And musicians know that the sense of hope, uh, of excitement uh, and creation when we wake up in the morning... Uh, thinking about what we're going to do, gives, gives meaning to existence. However, performers do need paying, and so if you value live music, we would ask you to pop across to yorkconcerts.co.uk, and there's a donation button at the bottom of the page. Thank you. Wir hoffen, Sie werden das Konzert genießen.
to be here in the Jack Lions this evening and to be with a real life audience. That's a, a fantastic thing. Uh, for those who are watching this online, we have a, a socially distanced group of people here with us this evening and it makes such a difference to us as performers to be able to uh, sing and, and see a response from, from real people. But to you at home as well, we're so grateful um, that you can join us this evening. And isn't it wonderful to have live music making um, once more and to hear such wonderful songs. And it's a great pleasure for me to be with um, Nikki. Nikki was a tutor here at York when I was um, a mere little student um, years and years ago. And it's always great to come back to York. And so here we are today. 
Uh, if there's one little thread that ties together uh, particularly this first group of songs, but in fact the whole um, uh, section of German song this evening, it is that of hope. And that's something we're all um, desperately hoping and, and reaching out for at the moment. Um, even in the depths of Beethoven's despair, as we, we see these songs, these songs are very personal, you can see that. When you read the texts and you hear the music, you, you realise that these are actually very personal um, statements by Beethoven. Yet even in uh, the greatest of despair, there is a kernel of hope. Even as we get um, to the final song before Andy Fernigan leave to the, the song cycle, Resignation, um, it's a song of despair. He says, put out the light, it's over. I need to go. And yet, who without hope sings? There is still a little bit of hope there. So we're going to continue now with the three Goethe songs. Die Sonne verkühlt die Höhe, 
das ist nun Freund. An diesem Ort kannst du nicht wieder fliehen. Du musst nun lustig bin. Ja, du musst nun lustig bin. We now have the uh, great song cycle, the Fenniger Liebte, and uh, it is quite an extraordinary piece. We were discussing it earlier, and it's very unusual for a song cycle in that it all happens in the moment. It's perhaps 20 minutes long, and yet uh, you, can, you can be there as he goes through his different thought processes, and yet there is still a kernel of hope.
Wenn alles, was Liebe dir fügen verleiht, 
folk songs, which are about as fake as me standing here in a kilt with a uh, made in China tamashanta. It's um, utterly fake, but quite charming, nevertheless. Uh, we have um, three songs, two to text, the first and the last to text by Walter Scott, and the middle one, um, who was actually genuinely Scottish, uh, the middle one by a guy called William Smythe, or William Smith, and he was from Liverpool. Um, so as you can see, they're genuinely Scottish. And um, he then moved to Bury, Lancashire, and ended up at Eton. So genuinely Scottish. However, he wrote these, um, these words uh, in a Scottish sort of style um, to complement the music that Beethoven was uh, sending over from Vienna via all sorts of places to get to Edinburgh, where uh, it's, it's well documented. A man called George Thompson 
um, was paying Beethoven before him, Pleyel and Haydn, to produce these Scottish songs, to sort of, I think, to, to boost the sense of Scottish identity and, and give them a, a good um, artistic grounding for, for a sense of new nationhood. So, anyway, enough of that. Uh, we'll sing the first one, Enchantress Farewell, uh, Again My Liar, and the final one, Sunset. Thank you. 
Stop. 